Today we're going to find out which one of these fire starters works the best. Cotton balls versus egg cartons with lint and wax versus fire plugs. So what I'm trying to do is figure out the pros and cons of each of these fire starters based on the following criteria. Packability. Reliability. Ease of use. Waterproofness. Burn time. And the moolah. How much it costs. By the way, my name is Adam and I'm a paddlehead. Before we get any further, I do have some predictions. The carton and the cotton ball, I do not think are gonna be waterproof. I think those materials are gonna soak up the water and I don't think they're gonna burn, to be quite frank. I think for sure the carton is gonna burn the longest just because it's the biggest, it's the most material and uh, that just seems to make sense to me. And for the same reason, the cotton ball will probably burn the quickest because it's the smallest. However, uh, the cotton ball and the fire plug are pretty similar in size, but I think the fire plug is much more condensed. So I think there is more material there. So in theory, it should burn longer. That's what I think. Cotton ball is out first. Fire plug done, 524. Okay, finally at just over 10 minutes, the egg carton is just fizzling out. After this initial burn test to see how long they burn dry, I'm going to do a second burn test after I soak each of these fire starters for five minutes. The egg carton was difficult to get into. I had to cut into it with my knife. The cotton ball would not start no matter what. And the plug lit up just fine. This one definitely surprised me. I did not expect that to light. It was pretty saturated. This, however, I expected. And Ben has shown previously that these fire plugs are waterproof. I'm gonna be reviewing the Bigfoot Bushcraft fire plugs. It went. I will actually link to that video in the description and maybe you can find it up over here in this corner. This one's actually getting bigger now. I think some of it's drying out, more of it is catching. Okay, fire plug is pretty much out. Okay, it's after 11 minutes, we get the point. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, darn it. So first, let's look at the plugs based on packability. They're very small. You can fit a bunch of them in a small pocket. Ben likes to actually stick them in his PFD. He likes to have them in his fire starting kit. You can kind of sprinkle them all over the place just in case you need one. You've always got one somewhere. Reliability, I would say based on the fact that the fire plug is waterproof or it appears to be, uh, that is the most reliable thing you could ask for out of a fire plug, in my opinion. You're dealing with rain, the possibility of submersion when you're paddling in a canoe or a kayak. Waterproofness is a necessity. Ease of use. Eh, eh, ksh. That's it, like super easy to start that fire plug and zero prep time. You buy it, you use it. Burn time was decent. I think it was around five minutes, but that's pretty good. I mean, it's it's way more than enough to get a fire starter. Cost, I'd say is the only con of the uh, fire starters. Now that doesn't mean they're expensive, but compared to the other two, they're definitely more expensive. Okay, let's move on to the cotton. The cotton balls are what I've used historically. Now these have to be legitimate cotton and they have to be completely soaked in Vaseline, like massage. Massage. Vaseline into the material and you can put a bunch of them in a little bag and stick them anywhere. So pros, I would say the biggest pro of these are they're probably the cheapest. You probably have some kind of cotton ball laying around the house and Vaseline. I mean, everybody has Vaseline, I'm pretty sure. If you don't, I think it's super cheap. Another pro of the cotton balls is how small they are. Very packable, you can put like 20 or 30 of them into a small little bag, scrunch them up tiny. Uh, and then when you're ready to light them, you just break them apart like you do the fire plugs. And that brings me to the cons. So completely unreliable as far as reliability goes. If they get wet and they don't start, then they are no good to me or anybody, frankly. So not that reliable. Ease of use. I mean, to start it, you just break it apart and light it, but you have to make them and they are time consuming to make and pretty messy. You get Vaseline everywhere. It's just, I did it for a long time, uh, but some people just aren't into the mess, so. Burn time was okay. 
Uh, it was the shortest of the three of them. Okay, and finally, let's move on to the carton. Now, admittedly, I've never done that before. I only did it for this video, but I've heard people talk about it. I've seen it, other people use it. So it was kind of interesting to try it out. The pros, um, obviously burn time. It burned the longest by far and had the biggest flame. Uh, so that's a that's a bonus for sure. And uh, cost is a, is a pro. I mean, I used dryer lint, which I literally took fresh out of the dryer. Ew, I had an egg carton because I had a carton of eggs in my fridge already. And the wax, my wife has those like sensey things, the, the wax melters. So we had some already in the house. It was cinnamon flavored, by the way. Actually, it was kind of gross. <laughs> The cinnamon mixed with the dryer lint and the egg carton, not a good, not a good mix. Anyways, relatively speaking, fairly inexpensive, especially if, all, if you have all the stuff laying around the house. Cons, uh, first of all, packability. It is like five to eight times bigger than the other two options. So it takes up way more space. It's a lot bulkier, pretty inconvenient if you're like backpacking or like on a canoe trip. If you're car camping, you know, not a big deal. Reliability. So this is, this was something I was surprised about. I really did not expect that carton to ignite after being soaked for five minutes, but it did. What was even more interesting is it burned for even longer than it did the first time. Um, either way, that totally surprised me. Would I say they're reliable? I don't know, it worked, but I was not confident in it. Reliability is kind of, come see, comes out. Ease of use, I mean, relatively easy to ignite when dry, when wet, different story. I needed a knife to get into it, to get to the dry stuff in the middle. Otherwise, there's no way it would have lit. Everything on the outside was soaked. And then of course, prep time. That one took by far the longest to prepare. I had to cut the egg cartons. Oh, this is so hard. I had to scrape dryer lint. Labor intensive. Truthfully though, the worst part of it, about it was melting the wax. Out of the three, that one's the most inconvenient to prepare. Burn time. It burned more than double both of them. So if that's a priority for you, there's the clear winner. Ink cost. I mean, you can spend no money if you already have all these things. Not a bad option for camping, car camping. camping. So to summarize, I think based on your priorities, that will determine which of these options is the best for you. Just so you know, uh, we have an affiliate link with Bigfoot Bushcraft. So if you click the link in the description and enter promo code Paddleheads, uh, you'll get 15% off and you'll help us out. You'll help us out. You'll help us. You'll help us. You'll help us out because we get a little commission on that. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you sticking around. Hope you found it interesting. If you did, give us a like, comment below, let us know what kind of fire starter you like to use and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Take care.